Uh, it was a great year for us as a company. Where we actually we have operate in two different segments. In both the segments, the L3 and the L5 segments, uh, we have doubled our uh, revenues as well as volumes in these segments. We had a couple of great product introductions, both in the uh, ICE segment as well as the Greaves Ultra, which is the L5 vehicle that we have launched. So momentous year. I think it is the start for a leap that we are trying to do in the coming year. Coming year also with all the products now steadily in place, both on L3 and L5, uh, we have a greater year expectation ahead at least. We believe there is a, uh, a different vehicle for different applications, right? It is not that one size will fit all. There are multiple markets where still electrification has not reached. We cater to a lot of those diesel and CNG applications through our uh, ICE vehicles. And there are a lot of markets where electrification has been uh, peaked already. For example, the e-rickshaw market is 100% electric. Uh, there are lots of new applications that we can come, with, come there. Uh, we already have. We already have an e-rickshaw product uh, by the brand name Ellie. Uh, we have also introduced a version with five batteries in that uh, segment, which is a longer range product, which is very specifically targeted at tier three, tier four kind of markets where they require a little uh, longer range. We also have homologated our lithium ion version of the vehicle now specifically looking at markets like Delhi. So th there is also a lot of change in uh, uh, homologation and other regulations that are there. But uh, we believe there is a huge opportunity in the e-rickshaw segment as well. So we expect uh, to again possibly double what we did in the last year. We do close to a, uh, both business together. Uh, we do somewhere close to a 1,500 to 2,000 vehicles per month. We have already introduced our electric cargo by the name Greaves Ultra. Uh, we are soon launching our uh, Ultra City, the passenger vehicle, which is an L5 passenger vehicle, largely looking at uh, tier one, tier two towns. Uh, we'll also have multiple other products coming out of the variants coming out of this. Those are all the ones that will get launched in the year. The capacity, we are, we are in the process of investing in our plants, both at uh, Hyderabad as well as in Greater Noida. The Hyderabad uh, facility produces the L5 vehicles and uh, the Greater Noida facility produces the L3 vehicles. So we are hoping to double our capacity during this time. So it will cater to all the, uh, all the demand that we are thinking for the next year and possibly for a couple of years more. But there is a lot of commitment to significantly scale this, considering that uh, this is a core business for the Greaves Cotton Group, uh, where uh, we have always been a provider of three-wheeler engines. Now this is the diversification and uh, forward integration that has happened. So this is a core business. I run the Greaves three-wheeler business, the company that uh, makes yeah. the vehicles. Yeah. Uh, Greaves Cotton uh, has announced uh, many, many different uh, plans that they have, both in terms of powertrains. Um, there are some, some of the acquisitions that have happened, like Excel control linkages, which are related to parts which go into an electric vehicle. Right. Um, similarly, on the e-rickshaw side, Greaves Retail is already doing uh, uh, batteries and uh, more aggregates. Right. So that is a, that's a game that we are already in. We as a company at this point in time on ICE, I think we'll be the maybe the sixth largest company in India. We believe that uh, with all the new products that we are bringing in, we should aim for a top three or four. That is what we need to get to first. Uh, a large part of our portfolio will become electric. At this point in time, most of our L5 business uh, is largely ICE. Uh, we have just started off with the Ultra. So we expect that to scale up, and that is one of the one of the biggest growth levers for the coming year, especially with uh, markets like UP Bihar opening up for passenger. With the electric passenger coming in, we'll see a lot more. I believe that consistent policies by the government is very important for any industry. It cannot be like on and off. Uh, what happens with that is that companies are left in the lurch and are. Uh, are not very clear on what are the kind of products that have to be developed for the for the current market. So um, I would really urge the government to do policies which are consistent, are long term, and are clarified upfront, saying that what would be the plan for this. 
I really hope that uh, on the demand side, there are incentives which are very important to drive the demand, especially for bottom of the pyramid kind of applications like three wheelers. Possibly, there would be some kind of disruption. Every time you change something, a uh, customer would wait and see what is the final outcome of it. Uh, there is obviously, there are opportunities which arise out of it uh, if you want to make a quick gain on something. But um, yeah, I'm sure there will be some disruption that will come in in a couple of months. I don't think it's, it's a one zero game. Uh, there'll always be applications which are suitable for an ICE kind of a vehicle. There'll always be applications which are a lot more suitable for an electric. So I think both will coexist. Um, I, I do not know how long, but uh, for sure, I don't see that happening in a hurry, right? It's not that uh, suddenly out of nowhere, um, uh, all the ice power vehicles will go off, right? Uh, the main thing is that most of these ice powered vehicles also have become a lot more cleaner as the, as the years have gone by and the regulations and new technology has come in. Currently, we are at a BS6 kind of regime. It is not that they are all that polluting yet, right? Uh, compared to what it was earlier. So that will keep improving. You'll see improvements in technology there also. And there are some, some applications where, for example, think of an application in a, in a very hilly terrain. You don't expect, uh, even now, maybe you can still make an electric which will suit it, but there may be a significant cost to it. So eventually it comes to economics, and if uh, the economics permits, everybody will move to elect uh, electric.